Outrocast. Yeah, I would think I was moving out the la- like one of the last times I saw you. He helped me when I was packing up, when I was leaving um, the, the Kensington house over in- Lies. Uh, all lies. All lies. <laughs> well, before Darren you is- start, Darren, I have a quick question for you. Yeah. Which is um, that little image uh, that, that was there before you came live. Is that you in a Phoebe Bridgers band uh, outfit? Uh, the skeletons were yeah. old Navy t-shirts uh, for me and my wife. Okay. <laughs> but uh, we, we can go with that story instead. But uh, <laughs> well, that's <laughs> you know, they have the, the whole outfit, the skeleton outfit during the tour. So anyway, go ahead. Aspirations <laughs> for next Halloween. This year we're going to be liquid death cams. But uh, uh, Christopher, Amber, pleasure to be speaking with both of you. The first question goes to, to Christopher. Can I call you Chris or are you Christopher to everybody? No, Chris is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Well, not Mr. Golden. If you're nasty, it's it's Christopher. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. so Chris, uh, you but it's like Janet if we're friends. <laughs> Score. <laughs> well, you were a prolific author like Amber is, but how did you and Amber first connect? Um, I'm so glad you asked me that question because it gave me <laughs> the opportunity to give props to our our dear old friend Ali Costa. Um, Ali did my website and Amber's website, this was 24 years ago. Um, and, yeah, and uh, and I was out in LA like doing meetings and stuff and Allie was like, you and Amber have to meet. So she got us together at lunch and uh, and the rest is history. Then, you know, like we just met and got on and uh, I admire her work so much uh, as an actor and as a writer and then later as a director and- um, right. So that's that's how they started. And I, I, I should point out that Ali is actually one of our ensemble four slayers. She provides voices in this show. It's so great. It came see, all the way around. <laughs> yeah, it's great to see the long term relationships involved in this universe, this cineverse, whatever you want to call it. And Amber, it's very respectable. My words, not yours. Uh, very <laughs> admirable about how you were an actress, top tier actress that fell into directing, producing, and writing a book, what, every four months? <laughs> it felt like that for a while. It's definitely uh, uh, mellowed on the book front. Um, but then like doing this, I mean, we started Slayers uh, pre-COVID. That's how long this stuff takes to come to fruition i mean all the little bits and pieces that go into it it's kind of insane <laughs> it, it puts it puts my books to shame i feel like they come out faster than this did <laughs> well it's also it's also wait no wait 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 go very fast yes that's that yeah yeah that's always how the the, yeah. the entertainment side of things is <laughs> to totally interrupt you both rudely that was actually going to be my next question which was how long did you have to keep this a secret because oh my god the buffy <laughs> fan base is like professional wrestling's fan base yes there's there's certain things where there's there's rumors but you want to keep it quiet until it's time so how long was this in development for and i'm curious if i'm going to get the same answer from both <laughs> how long was it a secret slash in development for i honestly have a terrible um and amber knows this like like my wife i'll say something about oh that was like six months ago and my wife will be like honey that was two weeks ago or i'll say you know that was like three weeks ago and she'll say that was in 2002 so I'm just like, I'm terrible with it. So whatever whatever Amber says, <laughs> I agree. What I will say is that um, we had we had talked about it for a long time. Uh, and uh, the process of like writing the outline, uh, the treatment, working with Audible and writing the, the first script, the pilot, that took a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then once we got the green light, it was like, it felt like it was 24 hours. <laughs> we wrote the rest of it. No, it wasn't that short, but but it was really, uh, really quick. Um, so I don't know. I mean, what I, what I will say is I am astonished by how many people I broke my my uh, my rules and, and told about this thing <laughs> and, and swore them to secrecy and it still didn't get out. Oh, so kind of Amber, amazing. is that your shared perspective as well? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I remember looking back, rec- I, I recently looked back because I was trying to figure out like timelines and 
I think we started talking about this with with uh, Lydia over who's our exec at Audible UK in twenty the end of twenty nineteen. I think that's when we started. Was it really about that it. long ago? I think so. I think so. Like that. That it's. It was definitely pre COVID, because um, COVID like just changed the the you know the rules on everything. Yeah. Um, and gave us you know three years that became like in my mind are like twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think we started talking about it then. Um, so Disney has the license to to uh, the show. And we're very excited uh, because we want to do a second season because we are we had such a good time. So we're really hoping that, you know, that's why I was looking back. So I was like, oh, when did we start? Was this, had the Disney Fox thing hat? Like what? And, it you know, we, yeah. So Disney, we're like, Disney, you're awesome. Let us do another season, please. We've been working on this for so long and, you know, yeah. you're going to have to give us like a heads up. Let's do this soon so we can get one out quicker because we we can't do another like three, four years. Wait, we got to This one has to come out faster. Well, it's a whole new world. We want to explore it. Yeah. That was going to be my follow up question was, <laughs> is this a multiple season kind of thing? I mean, that's the hope. You know, look, here's what I will say about it, Darren. I would be shocked if given the response that we've had just in pre-orders alone that we don't get to continue on. And I'll be sad if we don't get to continue on, but it really is up to the fans. It's up to the, the how many people spread the word, how many people download it and what the response is. Um, so it's certainly our hope. We've already had conversations with members of the cast about hope for storylines. Um, and everyone is like, we hadn't even left the studio <laughs> when everyone was like, when can we do this again? Because we yeah. had such a good time. It was such a, um, it was such a, a positive uh, room to be in, you know, like right. everybody was just very, uh, very happy. Um, yeah. Well, my last question being mindful of both of your times, because let's face it, both, ever, everyone in the world wants to speak to Amber and Chris Turper <laughs> today. <laughs> well, Amber. <yeah. laughs> it's not true. <laughs> uh that question is are we allowed to know what's coming next from you uh you know strikes and and embargoes and hollywood reporter exclusives and variety exclusives and all that aside sometimes the answer is well yes you can and other times it's no you can't know until <laughs> you we want chris, you to know you can talk right because because chris and i are both wga but I'm also SAG after, so I'm still on strike, still very bound. By yeah, strike. I mean, it's also like, you know, like there's a book of mine that is currently in development, but I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that. Yeah. Um, well, you wrote something that that. Well, really yeah, I can talk about that. I I uh, with Mike Mignola, the creator of Hellboy, I wrote the new Hellboy movie, The Crooked Man, wow. which is coming out next year, um, and. Uh, I, I can't wait to see how it turned out. Uh, I've got my fingers tightly crossed about that. Um, it's a full-on horror movie, uh, which is great. I mean, it's a folk horror. Um, and, uh, you know, my next novel's coming out in January. <laughs> Still prolific. And then, Amber, in your case, seeing how many job titles you have at this point... <laughs> There's stuff coming. We're just not allowed to know about a lot of it, right? Yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta keep mum. I, I, you know, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so union proud. I'm like the, yeah, I'm so proud to be a member of WGA and SAG-AFTRA, and I just, I'm so supportive of what they're doing um, for us as members. And so I just want to be as respectful of the rules as I can be. Yeah. But what should we be plugging today? And everybody, <laughs> I'm, work I'm working. Slayers. Slayers is all good. We can talk about it. We're under a totally different contract. So we're safe. We're safe to talk about Slayers, an Audible original podcast. So congrats on Slayers and looking forward to everything that's to come in the near future from both of you. Dude, it is so much. lovely to see you. I just want to give you a hug. So I'm sending you virtual hugs. Oh, too kind. Always a big fan of that AB, I got to say. And Chris, yeah. a pleasure to have connected with you all. Uh, and you too, Darren. The next book junket will catch you on there. Sounds good. Thank you. Outro cast.